Well, who hasn't dreamed of becoming a millionaire? According to author T. Harv Ecker, you don't have to be a lottery winner to make that dream a reality. With the right money blueprint, Harv argues, you can determine a level of financial success for the rest of your life. In his book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, Harv outlines how you can join the ranks of the rich. He joins us live now from New York this morning with some tips. Good morning, Harv. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. So why is it so tough for people to go from talking about being rich to actually being rich? Well, in the book, I talk about uh, give me five minutes and I can predict your financial future for the rest of your life. How? By identifying your money and success blueprint. Each of us has a personal money and success blueprint already ingrained in our subconscious minds. And Cindy, it is this blueprint more than anything else that will determine your financial life. Do you know how we have a set point when it comes to our weight? Well, what people don't realize is we have a set point when it comes to our money. How quickly can you figure out somebody's blueprint, whether they're destined to make it or not? Well, you know, it's very easy because, first of all, the patterns that you've had in the past are the patterns that will continue in the future. And one of the ways to really change this blueprint is actually to model people who have their blueprint set for very high, high set points. And those people have a name. And they're called rich people. <laughs> and so in Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, I actually outline 17 very specific ways that rich people actually think very, very differently than most other people. Well, tell us some of the common traits that millionaires share. Well, you know, some of them are very, very simple. You just wouldn't think of them. One, for example, is that rich people admire and model other rich and successful people. And what do most other, other people do? Well, they resent the heck out of them, don't they? Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, very simple here. That if you view rich people as bad in any way, shape, or form, and you want to be a good person, then you can never be rich. In my book, I actually do something very strange. I, I say to people, I want you to practice admiring blessing and loving rich people. See, that way you know unconsciously that when you get rich, other people will what? They'll admire and bless you and love you, which is much more conducive for the unconscious to want to get rich. I know you have people come up to you at sem seminars and say, money can't buy you happiness. If you're rich, it doesn't mean anything unless you have love. What you do you say what? to them? I say that rich people think both, and most other people think either or. And it's very simple. You know, m most people think I can either be uh, spiritual or I can be rich. I can be kind and generous or I can be rich. I can have money or I can have love. That is absolute scarcity thinking. And the answer to all of them is I can have both. If I could be a model for anything, I would love to be a model that said I can be rich and I can be very rich and I can be spiritual, kind and generous and giving. Both, both, both is the answer. Do you tell people how to make money? I mean, it's one thing to say I want to make money, but how do you go about doing that? Well, you know, again, wanting and committing are two different worlds. And rich people are committed to creating success. And one of the keys to creating success is to want to be a 10 at everything you do. And most people are not that interested in being a 10. Most people are only willing to do what's easy, I'm sad to say. They're willing to do what's convenient, what's comfortable. But you know what? In my experience, getting rich is not a stroll in the park. It takes some serious focus, some serious hard work, at, at least for a short period of time until you systemize things. But the most important thing is, you know, the word commitment means to devote oneself unreservedly. If you model what, how rich people think and you model what rich people do, then you can get rich too. And in the book, we outline all of that. Well, I look at you and I look at people like Tony Robbins and I think, well, one sure way to get rich is to teach other people how to get rich. And I'm looking at the front of your book here and it says, free bonus inside, two tickets to the Millionaire Mind Seminar worth $2,590, details inside. No wonder you're rich. Well, hey, well, no wonder I'm rich if I'm giving that away. <laughs> Absolutely. Look, the... the when you, when you want to change someone's mind, you have to do it in a couple of ways. The most important thing is to do it on a cellular basis. And to do that, we have a seminar, actually a three-day intensive, where we have processes that actually change people's minds, their dendrites, their neurological pathways, by some very high-impact processes. And it's so important that, to do this for people, so we've actually given them two tickets to the entire event for free. So I don't know what I'm doing to make money on that one, but I'll tell you what. Training is a business like any other business. I made my money in other businesses 
primarily, and now I, I, I am blessed to be able to share this with other people. And so, just for your information, 98% of training people don't make a lot of money, just like actors, there's only a few that do. And they've gotta be really good, just like anybody else who does well in business or gets rich, you've gotta be an expert at what you do to get good at it and oh. to make a lot of money at All it. All right, T. Harv Ecker, author of Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. And you can pick up a copy of Harv's book in stores now. I was reading excerpts of this to my husband last night on the phone. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, well, a lot of it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You create your own destiny, and you really have to follow through. And it is a mindset. Uh -huh. it, it makes sense. Well, I tell you, if any, okay, maybe not the two people who win the tickets, but those who have to pay the $2,590. They better get something out of it. You got that right, because that's exactly what those tickets are worth. Okay, I'm going to have open up my own seminar and charge everyone 2,900 and however many dollars. Okay. Okay. All right. Everybody buy a ticket. Sure thing. Make me rich. Okay. <laughs>